these antennas here, and with it, they made using two guns, and four. You may ask, why do you still double gun? I don't know, it looks cool, something, the guns hit the, the bullets and they die. So what do they change? Well, they patch quick swap, meaning you shoot slower, and they did it in a really buggy way that means any sprinting between shooting two guns causes rubber banding, even longer swap times. If you look at this, when I shoot my first gun, I'm going to swap, I'm going to sprint for a while, long enough that it's not even a quick swap. Look at this, not even a quick swap, no faster, my gun pulls out twice, just a longer swap time. So really buggy right now, we'll talk about how to get around that later, we'll talk about it. They also change the sword in a way that people miss, right? So it's actually a nerf against uh, against double gun, right? So if you're using a sword against a gun player, um, they hit you from not as far away, right? So they have to be closer to hit you. Now that's, that's they say they did that, right? And I think it's a little bit better. Still feels like when they're on ping or you're on ping, sword hits from really far away, but that's that's gonna happen, right? But they did actually nerf sword against double gun. That, that's what we're missing. But they did rework sword. So sword v sword is a little different. But the other thing with sword is that they can still quick swap. If I use a sword and another gun, I can still let's let's pick a good sword. Hold on, what's a good sword? I I hit with the with the sword and then I swap. This is no quick swap. I hit, I swap, I shoot. That was slow, right? No quick swap. With sword though, they never patch quick swap for sword. So when you swing, you can still quick swap. So I just did a quick swap motion. It still works. So that's kind of a sword buff. Because it's a nerf double gun, but not a sword. That's not important. Other thing to note is that hit reg is pretty bad right now. So don't trust hit markers. Keep shooting till you hear the death sound. So some people have found new ways to quick swap, like bucket cancel or like doing a gazillion sprints before you actually shoot the second gun. And they're usually like marginally faster, if anything, but they're also super inconsistent, right? So I wouldn't even bother trying to learn the exact timings to shoot slightly faster. I don't think it's worth it. They will also just get patched soon, so I, I wouldn't bother learning them. You can learn them if you want to have some quick fun clips. I think you might still be able to skate with bucket cancel. Uh, I can't I can't really get the timing perfect. I think there's also just you can just do a sprint cancel the right time. I don't think bucket cancel is real. I think the bucket is just a timing thing. I think if you only sprint the last second you still do it, but I'm not gonna go into that right now. I don't think it's worth learning um, new sprint cancel methods. You shouldn't learn quick swap. I think you should just, just use the new delay. Now, I say you should use the new delay, but how do I use the new delay when if I shoot two guns and I sprint between them, I get a double pull out and it's even slower, right? How, how am I supposed to use that? that? That's the problem, right? That's the problem. So even if I accept the delay, now I have to not sprint at all when I move around before I can shoot my second gun, right? And that's super annoying. So if I'm playing against a sword and they're chasing me, I hit a blunder, it doesn't do any knockback, I swap. They're just sorting me here because I can't sprint away. They they can chase me as much as they like because I can't sprint. Well, that being said, you can still sprint because double sprint. Now, double sprint doesn't mean that I can shoot, swap, sprint twice, shoot, right? This is what it looks like if I do that. I think that's even a little slower, right? Not worth doing. What double sprint does mean though, is that if you shoot, Swap, sprint for a little bit, stop sprinting, sprint for a little bit, shoot. It's the same as the delay, same delay, there's, there's no, it's not quick swap, but it's same as if I didn't sprint at all, but I get to sprint. So it means that I can go from here to here, from, from here to, to there, um, without having to walk there, and while being chased by a sword user. Let's say there's a sword user on the bow, the, the bow sprint. I'll do a little bit of knockback with my blunder, and I'm going to run away. Shoot, swap, sprint. If I un un let go of the sprint now, it's going to bug out. So I'm still sprinting to hold it. But instead, what I'm going to do is say I'm ready to shoot. I'm going to sprint one more time and then shoot. If you double sprint, then you don't get the, the double pull out. Now, that being said, you don't want to leave the sprint to the end. It's more realistic that it looks like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shoot here. I'm going to run up to the top, and that's when I'm going to shoot again, right? So I'm going to shoot, swap, sprint, stop sprinting, re-sprint. Now, whenever I want, I can let go and shoot because I've used two sprints. Now, for some reason, that's the solution to double pull out until Rare patches it. So my strat right now, when I board, is to either use that or to use sprint cancel. So if you want to know how to do sprint cancel, I've got a video on it. I'll link it. It's probably in the card at the top right of your screen right now, if I remember to do that. So instead of using this new method, the double sprint, sometimes it's just going to be better to just use the blunder again 
If I've got a sword lord on me, I hit them back with the sprint cancel, I reload, I just hit them again, they're dead. So if they're still running at me with sword, they just die there. Otherwise, if they go back to eat, I hit this one, I can either chase while reloading and probably get a kill, or I go back to my double sprint. I hit them with this, I sprint with this, I sprint with this, and now I'm ready to shoot whenever I am, uh, whenever I'm in distance, right? So quick swap isn't a thing anymore. Double sprint is what you need to learn, or learn sprint cancel on reloads. Or if you can't learn sprint cancel, you can use stow cancel as well. Slightly slower, but still works. And you can also use it while you're jumping that way. But you can't sprint midair, you can't start the sprint. Right, so I'm just gonna do like a little bit of a situation here. Let's say I board, there's a couple options. When I board, if someone's guarding me, it's the usual, right? You let go and you blunder them. This is why I like having a blunder bus. You can still use this with pistol snipe um, if I'm on ladder. I can still go and um, hit them with the snipe by going back and hitting them with the snipe, swapping guns and missing, and clicking with the pistol, right? Still works, but there's no crowd control here. Especially without quick swap, you really need, it, I call it crowd control, but like, just you need the knockback, right? So the point of blunderbuss right now is that it can knock your opponent back. So when they've got a sword, you really need to move them away from you. So let's say I climb and they've got a sword. I can tank a hit, right? If I tank a hit, I can just hit them and they die if they're right next to me. Let's say I miss that blunderbuss. At least when I hit this blunder, they move away because they get knocked back. Now I can run. I can shoot again because I'm sprint cancelling. The other option is if I miss my blunder, doesn't do any knockback or I get hit reg, whatever. I don't want to be standing here where I'm going to get stuck. So if someone's standing on my side here and they're hitting me with a blunderbuss, uh, with a sword, sorry. They're hitting me with a sword. On the third hit, it deals knockback. Now that knockback, you might think it's useful for them, but really it's really useful for me. If they're using a sword and I get knockback, and I'm standing up here, I get knocked back here and they can't hit me with their fourth. It takes four sword hits to kill. 25 damage a hit. So if I'm up here and the railing's in the way, or the banister, whatever it's called, is in the way, and they hit me with the third sword, I get knocked up, I, I, knocked, I get knocked back against it, right? So I might just knock against it, and they can hit me with a fourth shot. So what I have to do when I board is I either have to get away from the sword and you can do like a fade away, um, a fade away sort of blunderbuss or I have to stand in the sword and hit the one blunder or I can just stand here if I get knocked back from that blunder even if it doesn't kill them and just shoot another one. Now let's say I do get away with the fade away blunder. Your plays are either, whoops, your plays are either to climb, fade away blunder, swap to sniper, do a double sprint and finish them off. Or, if they chase you from here, after my fadeaway blunder, I run, I reload it on the uh, on the bow sprit, and I kill them when they run up to me. Those are your two options against sword. If against other double gunners, double gunning is really weird right now, right? They're going to try and one blunder you, you're going to try and one blunder them, especially on ladder. I think it's really important to get the juke right now, because as soon as I get a blunder juke, you can just climb even more than you used to. If you've seen my old uh, boarding guide, which is on my old channel, um... You'll notice that I talk about juking on ladder means you can climb because the sniper won't kill you. But now, I can tank as much of the blunderbuss as I want as long as I don't die, and I can still climb unless there's a duo, right? Because if I if they use blunder, they can't swap to sniper. What they can do is if they use blunder, they can just get a they can get a blunder bomb out, right? I didn't have one on me. If they use blunder, they can't swap to sniper because it takes too long and I'm already up and I can hit a one blunder before they can shoot. But if they're quick and smart with it. They'll hit their blunder, it won't kill me. They'll swap to blunderbuss, uh, blunderbomb rather, and they'll finish me off with that. So the way to get around that is to either notice that they're gonna use a blunderbomb or just really ballsy climb up and hit the one blunder. So when they use a blunderbuss and ladder, that means you can climb even more than ever. But when you're up, double gunning is really weird. So a lot of it comes down to movement and dodging a bullet because once they use a bullet, if I use this sniper, they're gonna run at me, right? Because I can't use a gun until I either reload or the delay is up. The delay is really, really long sometimes, especially if I fuck up a, a swap method. So most double gunners might still be using like weird sprinting around until it works and it makes it a little bit slower sometimes. So I recommend coming up the ladder, shooting a blunder, using a sprint cancel against another double gunner and hitting them again. If they go for distance, then after I hit this blunder, if they run all the way to the bow sprint, that's when I'm gonna use my sniper. But I think it's really important to try and get a reload on your guns right now. Anyway, before I sort of wrap up this video, which is a bit of a ranty video, I just want to talk about the movement is important now. 
just being able to evade is super important, especially against sword. A lot of um, good techniques for sword, if you're being chased by it, are to run upstairs and then just jump back over, then you've got a blunder angle on them. The other thing is if you run to this map table, you can just get off or you can jump around this edge. And with the new sword aim sort of distance, it's a little bit stronger where I can jump up here. If I jump here, uh, I find a lot of time their sword won't hit, even if I'm there and they think it hit. So I can jump up here, oh, or I can fall off the boat. This is even fine, like if I'm off the boat, I'm safe at least. But a lot of the time the new movement is jumping up on something and then jumping back over and going the other way. Or jumping up on the ledges, or up to helm, or up to tarp. And on tarp you can really go back and forth because the person to get up on tarp, they either have to go all the way to the edge, or if they're in the middle, they have to do two jumps. So if I'm here holding with Blunder and there's a sword user, I can I can run up these stairs, jump to the side here so I'm already up, and if they know that you can jump to the side, sure, they might beat you up here. Otherwise, I can get my Blunder reload while they're on their way up and I'm dodging a sniper or a pistol, and I can finish them off. So movement right now is key. And I think, even without quick swap, I think double gunning is fun because of movement. If it wasn't so buggy, I would be I would be fine with this change. It's really dodgy with like all the bugs that actually make quick swap make you go slower. Just punishing experienced players for their muscle memory. But I still think Double Gun is a little bit stronger. And I can run up the side here as well. Um, I can obviously use the mask and drop down. Um, shooting through stairs is really strong. Because a lot of sword players don't know it. Um, just a lot, of, a lot of stuff on ladder where you can like shoot from here. There's a lot of skill still in Double Gunning. And I think if you're a skilled Double Gunner, you can still beat sword players. Even experienced Double Gunners that switch to sword. Or experienced Sword Lords sword players. I think you can still beat it with Double Gun. I think Double Gun is still the meta um, as long as you play it correctly. Um, one more technique that I want to talk about movement-wise is if I, if someone's down here and I go and I hit my blunder and they've got a sword, I just want to get out of here. Even if they've got a blunder, I shoot my blunder and I want to run back. But how can, how can I go a little bit faster? I can shoot and just jump against the roof. Now, what happens if you jump against the roof? If there's water, first of all, you just move quicker. But if you hit this angle here... It also moves you back. So I'm not hitting my I'm not hitting my D key here. It's just boosting me back. So the strat is is just to blunder, jump against the roof while holding S, and you'll get out a little bit quicker. And you can just you just get out. So I'm hitting my blunder, getting out of here while reloading. And now I can blunder again while they chase me. Or hitting my blunder, running out of here, back up these steps, and turning around and hitting my snipe. Uh, and that's that's about it. I think um, I think that's about it for why I think double gunning is still strong. Uh, and that's how I would use it, and how you guys uh, I recommend should be using it. Thank you for watching.